Mr. Jamal, can you tell us more about your financial inclusion and financial literacy initiatives? The World Bank actually had a survey in, in Lebanon where they believed that 50% or more than 50% of the bankable Lebanese population was unbanked. Um, based on that information, we did our own uh, uh, survey and we tried to find out why they were unbanked. Most of the reasons that were uh, given to us were either they felt they were unbankable themselves, uh, they did not feel comfortable because they didn't understand banking, or that they thought that the banks take so many charges from them that they end up working for the bank rather than work, having the bank work, work with them. It. So, um, so we felt there was a lot of misapprehension with regards to banking. So the only way to tackle the unknown is obviously by knowing. So we went on a, uh, we started doing financial literacy. In coordination with the Ministry of uh, Education, we went into schools, public schools all across Lebanon. And since last year, we have given this financial literacy course to more than 30,000 people. Now, the course is pretty basic in the essence that it demystifies banking. It tells the uh, uh, customer what their duties are, what their rights vis-a-vis -vis the banks are, what their obligations are, and hence has brought down the bar with regards to apprehension approaching the bank. Um, that is from the financial uh, literacy point. If we move to the financial inclusion point, having laid the groundwork with financial literacy, financial inclusion becomes a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. So we've demystified banking. We are now able to induce people to open bank accounts.